Hello cardboard lovers, it's Cardboard Badger here. I hope you're doing well and today we have for you the top 10 Transformer cards. Yes, the universe is beyond Transformer cards that seem to have made their way into a standard legal set, the Brothers War. As you can tell from my tone, I'm not massively excited about this. Um, not to say that the cards aren't good, I think they are, and the artwork is also good. Uh, it's just the wrong time and the wrong place for them and it kind of distracts from obviously the Brothers War set. Um, if you would like a video on that, I happen to have one already. It will be in the link in the descriptions below if you want to check that out. But for now, we are going to go through these cards, uh, and some of them in foil are ridiculously expensive, so if you do manage to get one, uh, I suggest selling it and getting that money as quickly as possible, because they are dropping in price quite dramatically. So, in at number 10, we have got Megatron Tyrant. This is currently going for $5.79. For six mana, three red, white, and black, we have legendary artifact creature robot seven five. Um, all of the cards have more than meet the eye, which is a cheaper mana cost uh, for them in their vehicle form, um, and then you can do something and get them into their transformer form. So, for this particular card, your opponents can't cast spells during combat, and at the beginning of your post combat main phase, you may convert Megatron. If you do, add one colors mana for each one life your opponents have lost this turn and it turns into megatron destructive force we have got a legendary artifact vehicle it's a four five it has living metal as long as it's your turn this is this vehicle is also a creature as well and whenever megatron attacks you may sacrifice another artifact and when you do megatron deals damage equal to the sacrifice artifact mana value to target creatures. If excess damage would be dealt to that creature this way, instead that damage is dealt to the creature's controller and then you can convert Megatron and bring it back to the Tyrant. At number 9 we have got Jetfire Ingenious Scientist, uh, the first of the Shattered Glass versions uh, these are scarcer to full, and therefore the price is higher. Uh, this is currently going for $6.02. We have, for 5 mana, 4 and a blue, a legendary artifact creature robot. It is 3-4. It has more than meets the eye again for cheaper mana value. It has flying and remove one or more plus one plus one counters from among artifacts you control. The target player adds that much colourless mana. This mana can't be spent to cast non-artifact spells convert Jetfire and then it turns into Jetfire Air Guardian a legendary artifact vehicle 3-4 it's living metal and flying and for blue 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 you could convert Jetfire and Adept 3. In at number 8 we have Cyclonus the Saboteur again the Shattered Glass version this is currently going for $6.16 uh, the Saboteur, for 4 mana, 2 blue black, we have a legendary artifact creature robot again. It is 2-5, it has more than meets the eye for 7, and it also has flying. Whenever Cyclonus deals combat damage to a player, it connives. Then, if Cyclonus' power is 5 or greater, convert it, and it gets converted into Cyclonus Cybertronian Fighter. It is a vehicle, living metal with flying, it's a 5-5, five five, and whenever... Cyclonus deals combat damage to a player. Convert it. If you do, there is an additional beginning phase after this turn. Next, we have number seven. We have Starscream. Uh, Power Hungry Shattered Glass version. This is currently $6.71. And for four mana, three and a black, we have a legendary artifact creature robot, two, three. More than meets the eye for two and a black. It's got flying, and whenever you draw a card, if you're the monarch, target opponent loses two life. Whenever one or more creatures deals combat damage to a player, you can convert Starscream into Starscream Seeker Leader. Uh, it is a vehicle, living metal, 2-3 flyer, menace and haste, and whenever Starscream deals combat damage to a player, if there is no monarch, that player becomes the monarch. Whenever you become the monarch, convert Starscream. Next, we have the number six slot. We have Flame War, Brash Veteran. Again, Shattered Glass version. This is currently going for $7.54. Uh, for three mana, one black and a red. We have a legendary artifact creature robot, 3-2. More than meets the eye for a black and a red. 
Sacrifice another artifact, put a plus one plus one counter on flame war, and convert it. Activate only as a sorcery. Uh, for one mana, you can discard your hand and put all exile cards you own with intel counters on them into your hand. Uh, this then turns into Flame War, Streetwise Operative. Uh, it's a vehicle, Living Metal, it's a 2 1, it's got Menace and Death Touch, and whenever Flame War deals combat damage to a player, exile that many cards from the top of your library face down, put an intel counter on each of them, and convert Flame War. At number 5 we have Blitzwing Cruel Tormentor. Again, Shattered Last Version, this is going for $7.75. For six mana, five and a black, we've got a legendary artifact creature robot, six five, more than meets the eye for three and a black, and at the beginning of your end step, target opponent loses life equal to the life that player lost this turn. If no life was lost this way, you can convert Blitzwing, and that will turn into Blitzwing Adaptive Assailant, or Adaptive Assailant even. Uh, it is a vehicle, it's got living metal, three five, and at the beginning of combat on your turn, choose flying or indestructible at random. Blitzwing gains that ability till the end of turn and whenever Blitzwing deals combat damage to a player, convert it. In at number four, we have Soundwave Sonic Spy, Shattered Last Version. This is currently going for $9.40 for four mana. One white, blue, black. We have Legendary Artifact Creature Robot, five, four, more than meets the eye for five again. And whenever one or more creature tokens you control, Deals combat damage to a player, XL, target, instant or sorcery card with mana value equal to the damage dealt from their graveyard. You can copy it and you may cast the copy without paying its mana cost. If you do, convert Soundwave. Oh my. And it turns into Soundwave Superior Captain and it is a legendary artifact this time. Whenever you cast a spell with an odd mana value, convert Soundwave. If you do, create Ravage. Ah, with a token, a legendary 3-3 black robot artifact creature token with menace and death touch. Excellent. And whenever you cast a spell with an even mana value, convert sound wave. And if you do, create laser beak, a legendary 2-2 blue robot artifact creature token with flying and hexproof. Out of all of them so far, I think this is definitely my favourite. Right, we're into the top three now. Number three, we have Ultra Magnus Tactician. It's the Shattered Glass version. This is currently going for $12.57. For 7 mana, 4 red, green, white. We have Legendary Artifact Creature Robot 7-7. Seven, seven. It has more than meets the eye for 5, 2 red, green and a white. It's got Ward 2 and whenever Ultra Magnus attacks, you may put an Artifact Creature card from your hand onto the battlefield tapped and attacking. If you do, convert Ultra Magnus at the end of combat. And it turns into Ultra Magnus Armoured Carrier. Legendary Artifact Vehicle, 4-7 with Living Metal and it's got Haste. And Formidable. Whenever Ultra Magnus attacks, attacking creatures you control gain indestructible until the end of turn. If those creatures have dealt power 8 or greater, convert Ultra Magnus. Uh, that is pretty ridiculous. In at number two, and it had to be one or the other, we have got Megatron Tyrant Shattered Glass version, and for six mana, three red, white, and black, we have a legendary artifact creature robot, seven five. It's got more than meets the eye for four, uh, one red, white, and black, and opponents can't cast spells during combat. At the beginning of your post combat main phase, you may convert Megatron. If you do, add one colorless mana. For each one life your opponents have lost this turn. And it turns into Megatron Destructive Force. Legendary Artifact Vehicle, Living Metal 4-5, and whenever a Megatron attacks, you may sacrifice another artifact. When you do, Megatron deals damage equal to the sacrifice artifact's mana value to target creature. If excess damage would be dealt to that creature this way, instead that damage is dealt to that creature's controller, and you convert Megatron. And at number one, no surprise, because it had to be really, we've got Optimus Prime Hero. We've got the Shattered Last version. Four, six mana, three, a blue, a red, and a white. We have Legendary Artifact Creature Robot. Four, eight. It has more than meets the eye for five, two, blue, red, and a white. And at the beginning of each end step, bolster one. When Optimus Prime dies, 
return it to the battlefield converted under its owner's control and turns into Optimus Prime Autobot Leader. Look at that. Legendary artifact vehicle, 6 8 living metal with trample, and whenever you attack, bolster 2. The chosen creature gains trample until the end of turn, and when that creature deals combat damage to a player this turn, convert Optimus Prime. So there we have it, that is the entire top 10 most expensive Transformer cards that somehow happen to be in the Brothers War Packs. Um, as you can tell, my view on that one. But uh, please let me know your views, write in the comments below. Do you think these should be in the set? Does it spoil it? Should, where else would you have preferred them to be? I would love to hear your thoughts. Uh, other than that, just like to say, if you have enjoyed this and you would like to like, share, subscribe, do all the usual business, it will help out the channel hugely. Thank you in advance. And all I'd like to say is thanks for watching, people, and we will see you again soon here on Carvel Badger.